here comes a little bit of an off-topic video, but still it will be used throughout our site later on. So when creating a site like this, we have created two new user roles with a customer and a creator. And when creating pages, we saw that we use the members plugin uh, and we can set the permissions for the pages. So it will be not it will not be possible to access the page unless you have a specific rule. But when creating the menus, you probably want the menus to just show up if you have a specific role. So what I've done now is that I have uh, under appearance menus, I have created a small menu with just a page latest products and one that is add product. And add product should of course only be available if you are a creator. And we could maybe say that also the latest products should only be available if you are a customer. So how can we limit that? Well, there is a plugin for that, of course, because we are talking about WordPress. So let's add a new plugin. Um, and if you hunt for um, probably menu role or user role, maybe and this was enough. Uh, we have one here that is called nav menu roles. Um, hide custom menu items based on user roles. Uh, and this one uh, we have down here. Um, publish press capabilities, um, admin menus, and this one user menus. And I will actually use this one because this one I no since before. Um, so let's install that one. Um, and when it is installed, I thought I clicked that link. Now it is installing. Um, when it is installed, we of course need to activate it also. Because when I have this um, activated, you can go back to the menus. And now we have appearance menus. And now if I open up this add product, uh, menu item, you can see that I can select that it should only be visible for logged in users that has the role of creator. What you need to remember also is that you probably want the, to select the administrator, but I will not do that now um, because I will show you what happens. Uh, and the same with the latest products, I have said that, that should only be available for the customers. So let's save this menu. Um, and the first time you create the menu, you need to create that first, give it a name, and then you need to, if you're using 2021, as I am at the moment still, you need to also set the display location for the menu, because otherwise it will not show up at all. So now we have a menu, we have set up the two different parts here. So now if I go and visit the site, you see that there is no menu still, but I said that you probably want to also add the administrator because now as an admin, I don't see any of the items. But if I say that I would like to see this as a creator, you see that now I have the add product item up here. And if I, on the other hand, say that I would like to see it as a customer, well, then I see the latest product. And let's try this also with Mark, who is a creator. Well, he can add a product. Um, so now we have um, a way to also add items to the menu, but only show them to the correct uh, user category or user role. 